Hello everyone. Well, this is just a really quick, uh, short little video to address some concerns that I have seen on YouTube. Apparently, there is a woman on YouTube who is concerned about certain information that I have given out about myself on YouTube. And so we're going to address that today. Alright, because I feel that this woman is going quite overboard. So that's what we're going to talk about. So the woman said that she didn't feel that I should be giving out my relatives names, birth dates, or de death dates. And here's the thing, if someone is dead, I see no reason not to give their names or their birthdays or their death dates because even if someone steals their identity, that doesn't affect me at all. And the person is dead, so why would it matter? It, it wouldn't matter to me because that person's dead. And it's not affecting me if those people's identities get stolen. That's not affecting me. And you know, they're gonna pay for that. They're gonna stand before God in judgment on that one. Um, so not at all concerned about giving out my dead relatives' names or their birth dates or their death dates, okay? All right, next concern. Um, the fact that I have given out my real name on social media and my son's first name on social media. I suppose I have mentioned his first name before. Okay, so we both have LifeLock. Okay, I have LifeLock and he has LifeLock too. So I'm not real overly concerned. Um, I don't give out my son's birth date on social media and not even on Facebook. And, uh, I may have given out my birth date in the past. Uh, I've actually stopped doing that. Um, not saying I would never do that again. Not saying I would never do it again. Uh, I'm not really too concerned because I have other protective measures in place that if someone gets a hold of my real legal name and birth date together, they're not gonna get very far with it. So I'm not too overly concerned about giving out <clears throat> my name or my birth date. I have given my son's first name, but like I said, he has a life lock and I have, I have never given out his birth date. So I'm not concerned about giving out our names and not too concerned about giving out my birth date. I don't give his out. Anyway, so the next concern was um, driving around to locations in Colorado Springs. Now, when I drive around to locations in Colorado Springs to show different locations where I live, the odds, the odds of me being one of those places so that someone can come and murder me is extremely rare think about it. I mean, anybody with a brain can figure out that um, the chances of someone being in one of those places at the time that someone has the intent to come and try to murder me would be really, really rare to find me at one of those places when they decide to come and murder me. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I'm not concerned about that at all. And another thing is I don't film those live. I do not film those live. So I'm already gone from the location by the time those videos are posted. So I have never given out the maker model of my car on social media and I've never even given out the color of my car on social media. So I am putting protective measures in place because no one knows what I drive. So the chances of me being followed is slim. I know of some people who put their car on social media. That is really stupid. Okay, and there's a girl who has about 60,000 subs and she's always putting her car, um, well, she has shown off her entire vehicle on social media, which is really dumb in my opinion. So just putting that out there. Never give out even the color of your car because, you know, people can try to find you that way. Um, if they spot you in traffic, if they happen to spot you in traffic. Now, it's still a rarity that they're going to spot you in traffic, 
that's really rare. Um, but, I mean, it can happen. <clears throat> I guess if someone um, goes around your town enough times and... Um, I don't know. I just think it would be really rare. <laughs> anyway, um, someone would almost have to know your address in order to do that. They'd have to go to your address and wait for your car to pull out. I mean, so that's another thing. Okay, um, I have never given out my address on media. In fact, I actually did a Google search on myself. And the only thing that is showing up is my old apartment that I used to live at when I lived out here from 1999 until 2005. So you go up and knock on that door, those people are going to say, I don't live there. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> my current address isn't even on social media. I have checked. I have checked. I've already checked. Okay, so if someone says they found my current address on social media, they don't have the right information. Okay? Um, I constantly have my credit frozen. I have fraud protection on my credit cards. Um, there is no way. I have passwords. There's no way that someone is going to be able to get away with anything. I have LifeLock. Okay? So... <clears throat> This video is to let everyone know that I have LifeLock and the people who are actually discussing this online will be the first suspects if anything happens. If anything happens. I don't think that it will, but if it does, I guarantee you the first people I'm going to send for an investigation are the people who are discussing it online. So just be aware of that. Um, yes, me and my son are both protected. And so, um, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. So I just thought I'd get this video up. It's going to go in a permanent playlist. This is going to go in a permanent playlist. Um, and I will talk to you all later. <clears throat> so hopefully, I addressed that person's concerns. And I, I don't want to hear any more about it. And if the person keeps talking about it, they'll be the first person suspected if anything happens. Thanks, everybody.